Hey guys, get ready with me using all my bedazzled skincare. You guys always ask me where I get my bedazzled skincare from, and almost like 99% of it is gifted. These are from Peach and Lily, and it's their hydrating like toner pads, and they're my favorite thing ever. Okay, and then this Glow Recipe toner is the first bedazzle item I ever got, and it was actually a gift from Glow Recipe for my 18th birthday. Literally so sweet of them. I try not to use it as much because I don't want it to run out, but it's my fave. This one's from Kostas. It's their mist, which is my favorite thing ever. They gave this to me right before our brand trip to Mexico. Okay, this next one is from Caudalie, and this is actually the only one I've ever bedazzled myself, and I did this on their brand trip in France recently. It took so long, that's why the bottle is like incomplete, but it was so much fun. This next one is from Peach and Lily again. This is their Glass Skin Serum, which is another one of my favorites, and they gifted me their whole like trio set in this bedazzled form. Okay, I don't have a bedazzled moisturizer, so I'm just gonna quickly use my own. Last thing is this bedazzled sunscreen from Supergoop. This one is so perfect. I went to Coachella with them this year and they put this in our hotel room. I literally screamed when I saw this because I love this sunscreen so much. Okay, I lied. There's one more. This is the Glass Skin Mist from Peach and Lily. This is the final out of the trio. And that is it, y'all. My whole entire skincare collection in bedazzled form. I just want to thank the brands for sending me all of these. If you guys want your stuff bedazzled, I'm pretty sure you can find people who will, like, do it for you. But obviously then, you're probably gonna have to pay them, but I think they're so worth it. They're so fun to, like, look at. Or you can just do it yourself, but it takes a hot minute coming from experience. Unless you buy one of those, like, tapes on Amazon. I've seen this girl on TikTok who uses, like, tape to bedazzle all her things, and it looks really good. Like, it works, so you can definitely try that as well. Also, happy Sunday. I'm leaving next week. I'm going to tell you guys where I'm going in another video, but I'm really excited. So I did my Heelous Curls yesterday, and literally an hour after I filmed my video, it just completely straightened, like, flat. I swear to God, it's like the most annoying thing ever. Like, I love having straight hair, and I love how easy it is to, like, tame, but it literally does not hold any hairstyle ever. This blush, literally chef's kiss. The best thing ever once in a blue moon i discovered that i have benetton again okay i finished my lashes bye guys here it is me for school it's actually like warm today for the first time in so long because even though it's may it's literally been freezing recently but i'm short today anyway i don't have like any tests or really anything today so it's like an easy day I'm using my frillian's bronzing drops because it's like warm but it's still like pale like i'm still pale because for some reason the UV is literally only high on school days and obviously like I can't tan on school days because I'm in school. I actually had like a fun weekend but it felt really short because I had sleepovers both nights so like I don't know just kind of on merge into like one day. But like, I got to see all my friends from Tanka which is really nice because I like they live like 45 minutes from me. I can't decide if I want to wear mascara. I feel like I just shouldn't because I also it's 7.15 and I have to leave at 7.20 start reading up on time because it's really annoying that I don't. I just really hope today is an easy day because I also have a chem test tomorrow that I have to study so much for so I hope I don't have that much work. Ooh, also I got the new Laneige like Skin Candy Lip Gloss because they had it in the mask but not like the squeezy tip. It just looks so pretty. I don't know what I'm doing my hair because it's so greasy and disgusting so I'm not going to put it up. I just don't know how I went. But for now it's 7.18 and I have to go to school doing a bit of perfume using flower balm but it's like the tiger lily version and i have to put some aos lotion on my knees so that they don't look dry ashy and gross okay bye guys I feel like I've not done get ready with me in like a thousand flipping years. So hey guys, get ready with me. Except today I'm only using products that I got from the Sephora goodie bag. Well, I'm going to try because I don't think I'll be able to do my full skincare, but I'm going to try anyway. But, oh, you all keep telling me to do a middle parting because you don't like my size one and you never see me with a middle one. Well, I'm going to do it for you today and I'm going to show you the reason why I don't do middle partings.
I'm so sad. I left my coconut gel at Jack's house, so now I'm resulted into the argan oil, which isn't too bad. But <laughs> my coconut oil, it smells so good. To be fair, it doesn't look too bad in this. It's not even there. It's not even there. Oh my god. She's just gonna say, oh, it doesn't look too bad. But it's not even flipping there. It's fine. It actually look too bad. Ooh. I haven't got any time, but I'm gonna use this toner. I'm actually really excited. This was one of the things that I was literally about to buy until I seen like how big the goodie bags were, and I thought, right. Let's just, let's just wait. Oh my god, and yesterday, me and Jack was out on a roller skate, yeah? Jack fell over. And then guess who fell over straight after him? Me. I actually kind of like this. Anyways, I fell over, hurt my back, my, my tailbone, and now it's literally hard for me to stand up. I woke up last night in pain, and I just don't know what to do. And when I fell over, I obviously put my hands on the floor, and, like, the floor is, like, imprinted in my hand, and it's, like, bleeding underneath. Like, that's how hard I fell, and it's just, ugh. I'm going to use this Dark Spot Serum. I've seen Katie Fang using this. And hers is all like bedazzled. Let's see how good it is. Oh, there's a lot in there. I like... Oh. I like the way that this is like bent, sort of. I don't know if you can see it. But it's really cool. My Glow Rescue's looking at me over there thinking of a why have you abandoned me? I'm... Oh, it smells like grass. It smells like like the outside world. Okay, I've got this, and it's like this cream for um for like red and irritated skin. But I don't have red and irritated skin. But we're just gonna look at it. Oh, it's green, and it like oh, I just want to hit her. I'm stuck. It like color codes your skin. So like, if your skin's red, put a bit of green on it. Turns brown, do you know what I mean? I'm assuming it'll just get rid of like red skin, yeah. Cause look, it's like turning pale. Just realised I need to rush because like I kind of need to leave my house so I can get on the bus. Um, this is a liquid rehydration serum from Medic A. I think that's what it's called. Quick anyway. Uh, open it up. Oh, I like this. It tells you how much you have in it. This is all like bougie stuff, man. Oh, and it feels nice. Mm. Later on tonight, guys, I'm going to laminate my eyebrows because like they're just going in the wrong direction again and they need to be in the right direction. I really like that. It's really nice. Mm. I need a skin tint, but the only one I have is my glow response, so I'm just going to put some of this on and then i'm gonna use the moisturizer out of that bag and there's literally loads to choose from they gave us this little mini is it tatcha little set and it comes with the little moisturizer um and if this is good i'm gonna obviously buy the big one but did you guys know that this is like japanese skincare because i didn't at all i don't think it's spf either but guys i'm getting a new spf soon and i'm gonna post i'm really excited because it's pink it's pink, guys. Ooh. It smells a bit like lavender. So this is kind of like a nighttime feeling one. But it smells good. Anyways, guys, I'm going to have to go now because my bus is coming. But it felt nice using a bunch of brand new products that I've never used before. <coughs> Bye, guys. Get ready with me. Okay, my mascara is already done because I went to school today. But my mom is forcing me to go to my sister's choir show, so I'm getting ready. Okay, I'm running out of my ordinary stuff, which isn't good. But for my sister's choir show, she's doing a dance to Jojo Siwa. Speaking of Jojo Siwa, she's been all over my For You page, and it's the videos of her getting drunk at Disneyland. Anyways, right now I have to drink a Celsius because we don't have any more Alani's. And every time I drink Celsius, there's like this weird taste in my mouth. Guys, you will never have to hear me complain about Spanish ever again because today was my last day ever. And when I mean ever, I mean forever. I'm not taking Spanish 3. And then tomorrow will be my last day of biology forever. There's just something about that that I don't like. Sorry for not making a get ready with me all weekend. I probably could have made one Saturday, but my sister's friends were over and they were all screaming skibbity toilet. So I tanned on Saturday. You guys can barely tell, but it's a start. 
The UV has been 10 all week and weekend, which is awesome. Um, please ignore how I messed up my blush. Okay, my phone just died, so we have to hurry up because it's only at 7%. Anyways, whenever I come back from California, I should be tan because I checked the UV there and it's high. And my aunt has this pool in her apartment area, so I'll be tanning out there. Only three more days of school. That's crazy. And two or half days. I'm just so excited for summer. And I'm going to be able to post three times a day probably on this account. Except for when I'm on vacation. Anyways, before I end the video, I want to do a little jewelry tour. Because I like my jewelry right now. By the way, a lot of you guys have been asking what lip gloss this was. And this is Peri Para. It's from Amazon. Or you guys can search up their TikTok or Instagram. Okay, so this is Kendra Scott, this is Amazon, Amazon, this is all Amazon, and these are every jewels. Alright, bye guys! I wish I knew before my first relationship, if someone is okay with disrespecting you to your face, they're only doing it like a hundred times worse right behind your back. If someone literally admits to using you in front of your face, why are you staying? Don't stay! It's okay to not be by someone's side all the time. And it's okay to let them know that you want to be alone on some days. Under no circumstance should you be called a whore nor a slut and let it happen again. Just because you can see their hurt inner child does not mean you have to let them hurt yours. You have to stop letting people hurt you. Just because you see something that they like in the store does not mean you have to buy it every single time. Especially when they don't buy you anything. Brilliant. He treats you exactly how much he cares about you. Just open your eyes. If your hair gets a little poofy and then him and his mom start making afro jokes right behind your back, um, why are you staying? It's okay to set boundaries and it's okay to leave if they break your boundaries. If you literally lose yourself to the point where you can't even think of your favorite color, leave. Setting spray. Okay, have a great day. I love you so much. Bye. Hold on, there's like a plane passing by. At least I think it's a plane. And the birds are going crazy outside. This is kind of freaky. Okay, well, anyways. Good morning, you guys. Today we're leaving for a weekend trip in Valencia. So let's get ready for the beach together. First, we need to make our greens. I only have this like giant water bottle left. And it's just like just enough. I'm pretty sure that'll be good for greens. So we're gonna throw it in there. I have like my little bag of essentials. Band-aids and greens. I decided to do my makeup in front of the window this time because the lighting in the bathroom is just, it's not panning out for me. Maybe this time I'm not gonna forget to take off my bubble batch. Hello? Here we go. Since we're gonna be at the beach today, I feel like sunscreen is very necessary. I'm pretty sure today we're just taking the bullet train over to Valencia. I feel like that's like the fastest train to go on is the bullet one. One of the nursing students yesterday is actually from Valencia and so she's given me all the recommendations. So thank you so much. That was like the sweetest thing ever. Apparently the horchata there is like fabulous, amazing. Obviously the paella is like another must you like have to try because it originated in Valencia. I feel like I look very tired this morning. I need to get more sleep at night, okay. I know I say this every time, but unfortunately I went to bed very late last night because I was booking some stuff that me and my family are gonna do while they're here. And I am super excited and I just wanted to get it all like finished up. I need to go wet this, hold on. Side note, I've almost fallen off this chair. This chair right here, like five times. I'll be on FaceTime with somebody and if you lean too far forward, it starts slipping from underneath you and it is so scary. Today's makeup look is just gonna be very simple because we're going to the beach. We're not going to the beach till quite later, but we're still going nonetheless. We also had a health fair yesterday with the nursing students and it was so much fun. Although the point of the health fair was to like bring in people from the streets to like come in and get education, teach them about like healthy living habits. My Spanish is not that advanced. So I just hung out more with the nursing students. They blew me out of the water about how kind they were. I told them I want to do like a taste test of yummy snacks and just like candy that's from here in Spain. And they literally took me to the store, picked out all of their favorites. So I'm about to film that probably like after this before we leave. But I thought that was so sweet and thoughtful. They're so patient with me and my Spanish. And that's another question I've been getting a lot is, do you speak Spanish? Do you understand Spanish? And I feel like the answer is complicated. Hold on. I know like the basics and just like very elementary Spanish, but I couldn't have like an in-depth conversation say about like nursing. A lot of the nursing students here speak English. And so it's a good opportunity for them to speak their English and me practice my Spanish. Another really cool thing that happened yesterday is we were at the health fair and I was at my booth 
and this girl came up to me and she introduced herself and she's actually a med student here. She was telling me, I've been following you for so long and like I love your videos and my jaw literally dropped. I was like, oh my God, my heart was like racing. I was so excited. I've been getting a lot of questions about this blush and it's from Dibs Beauty. It's in the shade Popstar. Do a little gloss. You guys, we're all ready for our beach day. I should finish packing, pick out an outfit, and then we're good to go. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you later. Ready with me to go get sushi with my girlfriends. One of my friends is back in town, and that's probably one of my favorite activities in the summer is getting sushi with the girls because that's where all the good conversation happens with a side of miso soup. I saw somewhere that you're supposed to pat your toner in, and I've always been a rubber. This is why I should think before I speak. I don't know what came over me last night, but I slept for 10 hours. I just woke up. It's currently 11.40, but I got out of my bed at 11. During school, I get up when the sun comes out, and recently that has not been happening for me. But regardless, I have a lot to do today, so I need to wake the fuck up. I've always had these two things, but I've never mixed them together like in the dish up here, so I'm gonna try it, and maybe I'll feel like one of those cool get-ready-with-me girls. How many drops do y'all do? Like two? Should be fine. Then I always see people mix it in the... For some reason that kind of like feels unsanitary to me, I don't know. I know it's not, but... That's one thing is I'm really really not a germaphobe until it comes to my makeup and I hate when things like touch and caps get gross and all that kind of stuff. Like that really grosses me out. Speaking of, I really need to wash my makeup brushes. That needs to be one of my tasks today. If anyone's ever laminated their eyebrows at home, let me know because I just got this brow lamination kit but I also don't want to fry off all my eyebrow hairs and then have no eyebrows. So if you've ever done it and it turned out good, let me know. Another thing too is I never really do my eyebrows unless I have a full face of makeup on. Like for today, if I'm just doing like natural couple products, like I'm not gonna fill in my eyebrows or put any gel in them or anything. When I first learned how to do makeup, it was like the peak era for makeup. It's when James Charles, Nikki Tutorials and Jeffree Star were so huge on YouTube. I think that I was just too mesmerized by the new like eyeshadow launches and all the new palettes that I'd never learned how to do my eyebrows. I quite possibly could have just skipped every like section that taught you how to do your eyebrows and finished the video. In that same era, I would wear foundation to high school like actually every single day. I used the CoverGirl one in the glass bottle with the green top. I would literally pour it into my hand and then rub it around and just like blend it in with my fingers every morning. And then I would do a shit ton of mascara. My eyelashes were always so, so clumpy, like spider leg lashes. And I would just put on a lot of bronzer, no blush or anything. And that was like the completed look every day. For someone who spent the majority of her time watching makeup videos on YouTube, I think that I should have been at least a little better at it. It was also much worse on the weekends when I had plans and I would like put on a cut crease to go hang out in someone's basement. Yeah. I definitely got a little better towards the end of like sophomore year and then junior and senior year. I think my makeup looked fine. I don't know. The TikTok makeup era is most definitely better. I'm enjoying this a lot more. I think I actually have like an addiction to this lip stuff. I got it not even two and a half weeks ago. If you want to try it, this is her. I guess the beauty guru hand thing doesn't work on TikTok. This is also one of my new favorite things. It's a setting spray that smells like watermelon. Sign me up. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. I love you guys and we'll chat soon. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's 7 a.m. Let's get ready for the last week of school. So cold. I'm getting ready with my blanket. Anyways, my goal for today is cute but comfy. Okay, that felt so good because I put everything in my skincare fridge. I think I'm going to do a skincare smoothie with my other skincare. I've always had this, but I never used it. But let's use it to mix all of my stuff. I literally have all of my exams this week. Today I have my math, which is pre-cal, and then I also have my English exam. Okay, well that left me a little glow. But I think today is like the last full day of school, and then the other two days are just half days. I think I want to get my nails done after school Wednesday. Please tag me in some nail inspo. Also, I did a combo yesterday with my skin tints, and I really like the way it looks. So let's redo it. I just used that Say one, and it's super glowy liked taking this skin tint over it but anyways whenever summer comes around i just have this feeling i really want to just change everything about myself before the next school year like right now i have like a partial balayage 
I think I'm gonna like dye it all dark in the fall before school starts. I'm gonna make a list of what I wanna do during the summer. I think my coach is also making us do summer workouts, which is something that we've never done before, but does that count as going to the gym? But anyways, I have no idea if I'm even ready for this math exam today because the school that I'm going to for math, they do a math class like every semester. That means I've learned the whole pre-cal unit in like four or five months. I also need a new eyelash serum because I ran out of my Lash Therapy Australia one. If you know some good ones, let me know. It just doesn't feel real to me that like summer is almost here. I think it won't hit me until, until it's actually the last day. As soon as I get out, I'm planning on having a full summer day. Like the feeling of having no exams and just being stress-free. My family also like completely redid our whole entire furniture and decorations in the living room. Got a whole new couch, new carpets, new picture frames, a whole new dining table. And it looks so good. It looks so much brighter. Okay, we're doing pretty good on time. I only have like 10 more minutes left. And I'm gonna go over it with this butterfly mascara that I stole from my sister. I was hanging out with my friends. We went to the trampoline park and tell me why. It's like one of the best hangouts ever. We also went to the pool. Oh, it was my friend's birthday. So we all sang happy birthday for her. I almost have to go, so I'll show you guys my outfit option. And also this new jewelry that I got. So I'm gonna wear these sweats. First option is this really cute light blue tank top. My second option is this USA top. Alexa, choose a number between one and two. It's one. Okay, so this is the outfit. It's super cute, but before I go pick up my jewelry, let's put some hair oil in oh i don't think you guys have ever been over here first deodorant and then my rings and this is the new jewelry i don't know if you can see that but it's from target it's waterproof okay look how cute that necklace is i actually need more like summer jewelry like i mean jewelry i can wear in the water have an amazing day bye i love you guys me for school but my table is a little mess and i'm in a bloody hurry hurry so like i need to hurry up um but i woke up this morning i was supposed to wake up wake up earlier because um i was supposed to have a bath and yes i did have a bath but it took more time and i'm late but we're just gonna Try be hurry. So yeah, I'm just oh, whizzing through this get ready of me, but get ready of me. Uh, mostly everyone says when they do they get ready of me. It makes them faster when they lay. When they're lay, not when they lay. But um, oh my god. I know my table looks the same because it's so clear right here, but it isn't. It really isn't. But I'm using my Bubble and L'Oreal from Cinder Rocks. Okay. Just gonna mix that in. Put that on the face. I need to get my tie on. And then find my jumper. Do my snack for my bag. Do my water bottle. I just need to hurry up. By the way, guys, these are really good. I just don't put it on, but it will turn up later. The nasty, I'm just going to put on some super goop SBF 50. Because it might be sunny today, and I don't know. <gasps> That's a lot. Put some on my nose. And then there. Okay. Get out the way here. Mix. Mix. Okay. Keep on mixing. Okay, we made it. Oh, well, we didn't because it's 8.24. I've got to leave soon. I'm just going to put this lip balm on. This is so good. This is my desk right now. That's it. Bye. Get ready for me also tell you things I truly believe.
number one is the people that you surround yourself with is who you're going to become a reflection of so if you look in the mirror and you think oh my god i'm a nasty bitch look around you and think oh my god don't hang around with nasty bitches there you go do you ever know someone that is actually a nice person but they've got into the wrong crowd and kind of adapted to that crowd's character and you just like save yourself number two is i genuinely think that you won't be happy until you look around and appreciate what you have right now I just feel like if you're always looking for more in life then you're never going to be happy like people have loads of money and they're not happy and the reason they're not happy is because they always want more another one is that i do genuinely believe that whatever's meant for you will find you I just think that as humans, we often think, oh my God, when am I going to find this? What am I going to do in my life? Like, what shall I do with myself? And then once you stop worrying for like a split second, it just all comes to you. Like, not all at once, but gradually. For example, you want a relationship, trying to add, doing this, doing that, doing whatever, I don't fucking know. You stop for a second and think, do you know what? I don't want a relationship. Too tiring, can't be asked looking for one. I'll let it come to me. You let it come to you, give it a week and you'll have someone. Jokes, I'll give you a month.